Hello, welcome to this 3Cut tutorial. We're going to go through how the app works real quick, and then I'm going to take a little bit longer and explain what I'm doing. In case you want to follow along with the same video, I'm linking the video I'm using in the description, and you can just download that and play around with it instead of having to find a file to play around with. My name's Dave, I'm the founder. You probably don't care. Let's get into the video. So 3Cut is running on my Mac here, and if you have Windows, it's going to look really similar. I'm going to drop a file in. It's going to find all the silent parts. We can adjust the threshold if we want to make it find the silence a little bit better. We can cut out some of the small stuff with this slider. Make it feel a little bit looser with that slider. And then I'm just going to leave that one alone. I'm going to play it back real fast. I am... And Hi, I'm this Dave. was all mistakes. I'm going to delete everything here. And then I know that I think I just kind of rambled on at the end here. Or, or something. That's good enough, so we'll delete all that. And then we'll go export, and we can export to Premiere. And this will make a XML file that we can import into Premiere. We can also export a video by just hitting this button, and then we get our video with all the silence removed. So now we've got this demo XML. I can open up an empty Premiere project like this, double click in the import media area, open this XML file, and we've got our edit here. So this is the original file, this is the actual edited timeline with all the cuts on it. You can double click on this and you'll get your edits. You can also drag this in uh, and you'll get like one contiguous sequence that you can double click on and see the edits inside it. If you open up something and you see no cuts, you might have grabbed the video instead of the timeline. Just a heads up, that happens sometimes. Okay, so that was the fast version. Now I'm going to go through it a little bit more slowly and we can talk about the settings and how all the keyboard shortcuts work and stuff like that. So first we're going to open the file, and last time I dragged it in, uh, you can also click on this little circle to open it, or you can do File Open. Either way, you can open up a file. Something else to know is that you can drag in multiple files. So if you have an external mic or something, you can drag in more than one, and they'll all stack up. And then you can sync them up. If you click on Segments, it'll switch to Clips Mode and let you drag these things around. And so you can line them up with their by their audio waveform and edit multicam videos and podcasts and stuff like that that way. So I'm going to reset this and set this back to segments so we can interact that way. Drag in my video again. So ReCut first analyzes the file and it finds all the silent parts and labels them red and the parts that are audible are blue. And when you're in segments mode, you can click on these things, which is useful because you can then delete them and like delete you can restore red parts. We'll talk more about that in a second. Let's first get the settings right, and then we can go and do some manual edits. So the way to set these really is top to bottom. We're going to do threshold first and then everything else. So I'll set everything else to zero just so that uh, we can see what's happening. Threshold is usually auto. By default, it's on auto. You can uncheck this and drag this slider, and it's going to make this yellow band bigger. You can see kind of visually how big the threshold is. And just as this gets higher, it eats more and more of the audio. So ReCut is using this to figure out what is silent and what is not. Um, so it's not looking at, uh, it's not analyzing background music, it's not analyzing speech. So if you have any parts where you're talking or there's music or something, that's not silent, it's not going to get cut out. So just something to be aware of, it's looking for like literal loudness. You can also drag the bottom of this track to make it bigger and you can see kind of how big the waveforms are and you can zoom in on these and figure out what's really going on as you drag your sliders around. So we'll leave the threshold around there. I think that's pretty good. And then I'm just going to make that smaller again. And zoom in a little bit. And you can zoom with the plus and minus keys, or you can drag this little slider. Okay, we've got our threshold set. Let's give it a playback and we'll see how it sounds right now. Then we can make some more adjustments. So as long as skip silence is checked, the playback is going to be a preview of how it'll sound once everything is cut out. So let's listen. Hi, I'm Dave. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm am. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm the founder of ReCut and... Okay, so this was all mistakes. And you can see it's making cuts really quickly. Like, it's these cuts are really tight. This ends and that starts right away. Um, so we can adjust these things by tweaking some more settings. So one thing we can do is minimum duration. And what this is going to do is get rid of... Silence that is really short, like this tiny little sliver here. It's like a single frame. This might be like two frames. You probably don't want cuts where it's that small, so you can drag that up. 
and this this value um the default is like 0.5 but you can you know feel free to change all these things this is totally up to you next we can adjust the padding which is going to adjust how tight or loose things sound so if we make this bigger say like you know 0.5 seconds or something it's going to leave a half second gap between the edge of a cut and where you start speaking so at zero it's like right up against the edge as it gets bigger you know all these things shrink and it'll sound looser so you can play with that and get kind of like the feeling that you want for your videos if you find yourself after exporting having to go through and trim everything um like maybe you, you think the cuts weren't tight enough then next time just bump that a little bit bump this value smaller um and you can go from there just kind of tweak and improve over time this last one remove short audio spikes uh gets rid of blue parts that are really short the thinking being that there are probably mistakes these things i'm bumping the mic there's this little thing here where i made some sort of clicking noise if you drag this up it's going to get rid of blue spots that are short um but it might also get rid of blue spots that were short and important so just something to be aware of you know if it's seeding into stuff that you don't want to get rid of there's kind of a balancing act here i'm just going to leave it zero and we'll just delete them manually which i'll show you how to do right now so this was all mistakes, and then this is where I started talking. So I'm going to click on this and delete it. Click on that and delete it. And then I'm going to click on one and just drag a box the rest of the way and hit backspace to delete those two. The other thing I alluded to earlier was that you can click on red spots and hit backspace, and it will keep those parts. So if you have some part where you're talking over a screen recording or something and you want to keep it, you can do that. I don't actually want that part, so we'll get rid of it. This part's a mistake. And then I happen to know that all of this is a mistake too. So here is what's left. It's about 19, 20 seconds, something like that. And now we could export right away. I want to show you one little trick before we do that. Uh, there's a mistake in here that we will work through in recut and delete them and delete them. And so this part is a flub and i want to get rid of it but i can't do that because it's one solid blue box so there's two things we could do either export this to something like adobe premiere or um you know one of the other editors and then you could do your edit there just make that trim in your regular editor the other thing we could do is use little trick because i don't have manual cuts yet i'm working on this but in the meantime you can set the settings back to zero so that we get a silent spot right here let's set the padding back to zero and we'll set the minimum duration back to zero and now we have a silent spot and we can click on just that part and delete it and then when we put these back to what they were um that was 0.5 i think then these little manual edits stay in place and um now that's gone i'm working on adding manual cuts and also being able to move these red edges um but it's not there yet so in the meantime so that's good enough, I think. And then we'll go over to export. Like I showed earlier, you can either export an audio or video file. I would say if you care about file size, try the software encoder because the uh, default hardware one, it makes pretty big files, even though it's a little bit faster. And honestly, the software one is pretty much the same speed. And you can change the resolution if you want. That's pretty much all there is here. And then if you want to take your edits into another editor, like Premiere or Final Cut Pro or Resolve or ScreenFlow or CapCut, you can export that here and then open up your tool of choice and do some more editing. There's also an option here for Premiere to keep the silent segments. You can cut around it. Um, so it'll actually leave all the red parts in your final Premiere timeline, which you might want. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can click this green arrow and it'll open up the folder where you just saved your file to. Under Final Cut Pro, there's a multicam option where if you check this, if you've got multiple cameras, it'll put everything inside a multicam clip. I'll cover sections in a separate video, and that'll be it for now. I hope that was helpful, and uh, if you have any more questions, if I missed anything, please feel free to let me know in the comments below or shoot me an email. My email is uh, on the Recut site. You can click on support, and that'll come to me. That's it. See you in the next one.